All right, what's going on, Cubs fam? Happy Saturday to everyone. Hope you guys are having a great weekend, getting ready for Christmas next week. If you celebrate Christmas or just enjoying some time off to have fun with family. Uh, just so, before we get into today's uh, content, we're going to talk a little bit about some problems with the uh, update to Grand Arena that uh, I, I, I'm... They're going to address it, and it'll eventually be okay, but I'm not really stoked about the current response, and we'll talk a little bit about that. Uh, but just also a PSA, next week, because of the holidays, you might see less content from me. You might see less streams from me. I still don't know exactly what my schedule is going to look like, but just be ready for that. But do be sure to still keep those notifications on so you can know when that is coming your direction. So just a heads up on that one. I hope everyone has a very, very merry Christmas. Um, all right, here's what we got to talk about. Uh, now, with the new update, one of, one of the biggest changes to this uh, new format for Grand Arena is you no longer get defensive banners uh, for just setting a team. If you remember when you would go place your defense, you'd see those banners tick up. And this was meant to be an incentive to get people to deploy their rosters. And so right now, what is happening is if people decide to not fill teams in specific sectors, then players are not being awarded the banners for those uh, slots that are not filled. Why is this a problem? This is the perfect example right here. Uh, this guy posting right here. This uh, Kenobi team up top, uh, or top left had only one Kenobi team there. That was it. No other teams were deployed. And he, he had his Kylo over here. Everybody cleared the same amount of stuff, but look at the banner discrepancy there because his opponent was able to actually have two teams to clear there, got banners and credit for that. He couldn't clear these two teams because there were no teams to clear there. And so he had no chance of winning the Grand Arena in that case. Now, if you full clear, you do not need to stress about this. Uh, I will call it an exploit. Uh, CG doesn't seem to want to call it an exploit, but uh, it, it's kind of what it is. So I, I don't know what other word to use to describe it. Um, then you'll be fine because once you clear a zone, you do get awarded the points for the teams that weren't placed. But the problem is if you don't clear that zone, then you're at a huge disadvantage. And so you could have players basically putting a team that they know you can't beat, say Kenobi, for example, not place two other teams there, and you're screwed if you can't find a way to get through Kenobi, even if you clear the same amount of teams. This is a big deal, and definitely, in, in my opinion, is a pretty serious undermine of the integrity of Grand Arena, which is why they're going to address it but I, I feel like it needs to be addressed a little more aggressively. And maybe this has to do with Holiday. I would imagine CG is going to be off all week next week. But here, here's the response from Crum. And um, yeah, let's just read this. So he says, We are aware that the Grand Arena Championship scoring is currently only awarding banners to unfilled defenses if that sector is completely cleared. This is not intended. So if it's not intended... Anyway, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it. In this updated format, Grand Arena is designed to give players a reason to deploy their roster. Unfield defenses should count as victories for the attacker at the end of the round in order to prevent banner denial via all or nothing defenses, which is literally what this is right here. As is, it is banner denial. He is not giving him an opportunity to get those banners because there's no team to face, which is messed up. He should just get that instant 69 banners, right? Which I think is the new, uh, the new max banners you can get if you solo. Nice. We are investigating a fix to update banner calculations, and we'll let you know in advance when this will be occurring. In the interim, players can deploy squads as they choose. Given the current unintended behavior, it is not an exploit and will not be punished. Wow. So they are inviting players with this statement. I mean, I, 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 I don't like to call out specific people at CG. I'm, I'm going to imagine that this is, you know, this is more than just crumbs. So I'm going to point to CG in general. But I, I think this is really problematic to, to point at it this way and say, you can do what you want with this. Because, it, like, in, in this situation, I... This guy just gets boned. 
for for this. I, I'm gonna call it next boy. I just I, I don't think that's very cool. Um. Anyway, so they're not going to punish players for that. The current season will continue to ensure all players have access to the rewards, and we will, and uh will continue gathering information to ensure the rest of GAC is working as intended. Thank you for your understanding. Well, I don't really understand. Um, and I. <sighs> I don't necessarily think that people need to be punished for this. That's that's the side of it that I'm not necessarily um, as fiery about because if it's there, you can, you're not really you're not really uh, cheating. It's just kind of an integrity thing, I guess. It, it, the game allows you to do it, but for people who are negatively affected by this, people who lose because of this, definitively lose because of this, I think there should be something to make it right for those people. Because, I mean, we, especially in today's, like, it's before with Grand Arena, before we made this change, the reward discrepancy wasn't enough to raise as big of a fuss about it. But now we're talking a pretty decent, healthy dose of crystals and your league standing and all of these things that contribute pretty significantly to your crystal income in the game. I don't think it's, I don't think it's right to just allow this to sit for a undisclosed amount of time. I mean, we're just, he's just saying here, we'll let you know in advance when we're going to change. Um, not really a definitive timeline there. So I'm just going to throw out there if, look, CG, if, if we're going to make Grand Arena the premier competitive game mode of the game and the main source of crystal revenue in the game, this is the kind of fix that needs to be fixed with the same level of hastening that you would fix if the pack pricing was messed up in the game right now. The same level of, urgency that if nobody could buy anything in the game right now you would need to fix that i mean i i don't know maybe i'm a little out of my lane by by suggesting it would be that urgent but fixes like that you seem to find a way to get get a quick fix in there for and this is going to affect a lot of people especially because now we've drawn attention to it in a way where players will know like players who might not have known this is a thing now are going to go oh well hey my opponent here, he's not going to beat my Kenobi team. So I'm just going to place that top north, and I'm going to save two to three teams there that I because I know that he's not going to get the points because he can't clear my Kenobi team. And then they're going to get steamrolled because not only is that player not going to have the opportunity to clear those two teams, but they're also going to have a situation where their opponent now has more on offense and more of an... So it's a two-sided advantage. And so I, I think especially because this has been called out, this needs to be addressed with all due haste, um, or at a minimum, there needs to be a way to make it right to people who end up going up against this exploit and and get lose because of it. So anyway, I just I just needed to pay, post a video about that, and I, I, I kind of want to speak up and defend people who have ran into this and who have been affected negatively by it, because I don't think it's right, I, and I, I think that... This is something that should be addressed in a, in a, a different way. Um, you know, may, maybe the people who use it to their advantage, I don't, I don't know if I necessarily feel like they have to be punished, but the people who lose because of this definitely need to have some kind of make good with this. So anyway, that's all I got for today. Uh, sorry, a little bit of a downer of a video. I just, I, I think this is important, so I wanted to call attention to it. I hope you guys all have a great holiday and I will see you guys uh, for my next stream on Monday. Love you, Cubs fam. See ya.